everybody. Uh, I know it seems like it's been a while, but um, yeah, we've had a lot of uh, heavy wind, weather, rain here, and um, yeah, just been busy with a, another little project I'm just uh, starting. I'll uh, insert a photo for you here to have a look at. But um, yes, we've done a bit of work. Yes, Jack. Hello, Jack. <laughs> yeah, we've done a bit of work around the bus, um, replaced all the doors. As you can see, we had the originally had the plywood doors like the one here, which is yet to be replaced. And now we have the doors on here, all the way through. Um, we put the new catches on now, so it gives us a oh, lockable catches at the moment. There's camera gear and drone equipment in there. I don't think this one is empty. Oh, the plastic boxes, which have yet to be filled and this is my workbench um, that you can see there is uh, my inverter the switch to, for the batteries to turn the power off uh, with the plan being that I'll run a lead from here hello what do you want I'll run a lead from here round to the socket and when I've run the 12 volt through the 240 will go in which will power the socket and the one in the kitchen there for temporary use and this one is my this one at the moment is my toolbox so there's drills batteries screws and things so that I can do fixes um, as we travel if anything happens for the first few trips the gas bottle is still yet to be covered cooker's all done and in painted the bench needs to finishing off the edge needs to be now around the bench uh, the this is going to be removed. I'm trying to get a narrow one of these so I can put on the top here. So these will end up being up here across the top. So they'll run the whole length of the kitchen shelf, and we can put various items along the top of there. After removing all the cupboard doors, uh, sealing the edges. I got some colour matched paint to match the um, the fronts of the doors and here's the colour match paint going on um, several coats went on overnight and left to dry these cupboards have already had their first coat this one hasn't had a coat yet I've also got to remove the inverter to paint in the side of here too
everything removed and everything now has now had its two coats of paint. And I've cleaned the brushes and we're just going to do third and final coat on top of the workbench. My final task of the day is to get Jack out of the bus so we don't get dog hairs stuck to the paint or paint stuck to the dog. And we'll have a look at it in the morning. So um, we've painted all the insides of the cupboards are all insides of the cupboards are all done. So yeah, we still haven't um we still haven't had much time to do the roof liner. The roof liner still needs to be done. I'm thinking I'm thinking wooden slats or getting the original roof um, bit installed back in. I've still got it here. I've just cut the ends of the vinyl so we just have to sort out an extension to the vinyls. Um, we've still got to put the TV in. Um, everything else is in I think. So we're doing pretty well. The workbench is all workbench is all finished and set up. I've just got to Workbench is all finished and set up. All I have to do is get um, the 12 volt power boxes on the back of the cupboard for charging and uh, for 12 volt supply from the batteries. Um, and everything's just about done. We've got a major trip coming up the end of, or the beginning of November, so we'll be away for a week or more. And so that'll be a good test and a good run for the bus to see how, uh, how things hold up and how it all works out. All right, everybody. Um, I know it's a quick video, but like I said, we have been very busy with other toys and things. Um, but I will try to get a few more videos posted up as what time goes. We've also done a few trips. We've done one to Denmark again, um, and one to Mount Barker. Well, we've gone through the history of Mount Barker a little bit, and some of the the surroundings, the older buildings, the old police station, which is just as you're coming into Mount Barker. So I'll try and get that side, and we'll get that up as quick as we can as well. All right, thank you everybody. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe so you get notifications when new videos uh, are put up to see. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.